hello so today we will see how to make uh, egg puffs using the great value ready-made puff pastry so first I am boiling two eggs and then I will make the egg masala by using one onion I will fry it for some time uh, and then also add the tomatoes and ginger garlic paste along with the ready-made egg masala to this so that's going to be the uh, egg masala for the puff pastry so once the onions are really tender and soft I will add a little bit of salt and a little bit of uh, pepper pepper is only required if you need but I'll just add a little bit of salt for the onions to be a little bit more uh, tender and uh, it becomes more softer quicker so, so today I'm using the great value puffs uh, pastry that's a ready-made puff pastry that you can you know get from Walmart store the eggs are getting boiled and uh, looks like the onions are soft now so I will add the tomatoes it's basically just one tomato that I'll be using along with the one green chili that I have prepared for making this uh, masala uh, so once the uh, tomatoes are really soft and tender uh, after cooking I will add the ready-made uh, egg masala but before adding the ready-made egg masala I will also add the ginger garlic paste so as you can see I'm preheating the oven for 450 degrees centigrade for about uh, 10 minutes so once the tomatoes are really soft and tender I will add uh, one tablespoon of ginger and one tablespoon of uh, garlic paste to make it to make the masala so uh, I'm using the ready-made ginger garlic paste uh, for this one so you can do the same thing um, so just the one tablespoon of ginger and the one tablespoon of garlic paste so at this time I have uh, kept the uh, stir heat to a low temperature basically so that the uh, you know paste doesn't burn out so just give it a stir and uh, uh, you know for some time so that the raw smell of ginger and garlic paste disappears so this is how we are making the masala now so once the uh, taste of ginger garlic paste is you know the raw smell is actually gone I'll add one tablespoon of ready-made egg masala to this mixture give it a good mix now um, and then you can actually taste and see how the masala looks like so if needed you can you know, add a little bit of salt and a little bit of uh, pepper only if needed you know. so according to your taste so now uh, on my other side the eggs have been boiled uh, so I'll go ahead and now prepare the puff pastry you know I will initially what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, divide the uh, the ready-made puff pastry into four sheets you know the sheet that I have I'm going to I'm going to cut it into uh, four slices before doing that I have uh, added the uh, all-purpose flour for this so that you know uh, when you're actually baking the puff pastry it doesn't stick uh, you know to the uh, baking paper so this is how I, I have actually divided the uh, the puff pastry sheet into four halves I'll, pay, I'll place each of the egg halves into uh one you know into the one uh, slice of puff pastry so i would also need uh, uh, ghee and ghee is clarified butter 
and uh, one egg you know not this egg but another egg with the yellow yolk I'll be using so this ghee is basically required for uh, sticking the edges of uh, the puffs you know uh, individual puffs together so this is how I'm putting the uh, clarified butter or ghee to the edges of uh, the single uh, puff pastry that I have uh, divided earlier so once I put them all together like this um, I will be uh, you know using the uh, sliced eggs uh, with the uh, egg masala and coating them together like the uh, egg and the egg masala together and then I'll place it over the uh, puff pastry that I have prepared here I'll just place it over here so for you know, I'll just add the masala on top of it as well and uh, similarly I'll do the same for the rest of the three uh, other divided puffs pastries so uh, once this is all complete I'm going to you know stick the edges of the uh, puff pastries together uh, you know so that's that's how I will be doing it so I'm this is how I will actually uh, put the eggs and the egg masala to the puff pastries and then I'm going to stick the edges of uh, the puffs together mm. so then you will know why I have used the uh, ghee for each edges of the puffs so okay so now I'm going to stick the edges of the of these trees together like this the corners okay and I have also used I'm going to use the a single egg just the yellow yolk of the egg to coat uh, each puff with the yellow part of the egg uh, this is basically required so that you get a you know golden color for the puff you know for each of these uh, puffs this is what i'll do for each of the uh, puffs that i'm preparing so i'll just coat the yellow yolk so the uh, shape of the puffs that you are using it can be any shape you know i'm just using this shape but you can change it to uh, whatever shape that you like so once this is ready i will put it in the oven for 350 degrees for 20 minutes i'll bake it for uh, 350 degrees for 20 minutes so this is how i'm doing it um, i've set a timer for uh, 15 minutes in this video but it's better that you put it for 15 minutes sorry for 20 minutes so once this timer is complete your uh, Indian style uh, Kerala puffs is ready for you know having it with your uh, ketchup or tomato so sauce anything you know so guys enjoy and let me know how how you feel you know by making this one thanks guys bye